does solar really work? Okay, I'm a bit of an advocate for it, so maybe I'm a bit biased, but yeah, it does. Over the years, you know, <laughs> I think I made my first solar panel in 1977. Uh, it wasn't much of one, it didn't work very well. Most solar I've seen did not work very well. Uh, the thermal panels that I made uh, were notably ineffective. Uh, when I got around, oh, gee, 2012 or something, I did make some uh, uh, photovoltaic. I didn't make them. I bought photovoltaics and piddled with those for a while, but they were kind of cheapies. And they did work, but uh, maybe not as good as they could. Well, I eventually decided that I was going to jump into this thing with both feet. Uh, many experiments uh, with inconclusive results. But I put 14 panels on the south side of my uh, home's roof. That was the first one. And I'm a DIY, I do everything DIY mostly, uh, and so I don't do concrete much anymore. <laughs> this, is, this old man can't do concrete so good anymore. But uh, I can put solar panels on the roof. Okay, so I put those 14 up, and they produce quite a bit of power. And then I put another 14, gave me 28, and then I put another 14 that gave me 42. Now the last two were on my shop building, which had a south-facing roof too. Uh, at this point, in high summer, I'm producing about 90 kilowatts a day. I use anywhere from 15 to 40 kilowatts, depending on what's going on in the house. So I'm actually producing a lot more than I use. I'm actually going to be putting another 12 panels on the west side of my roof pretty quick. Just kind of a little experiment there. Solar has pretty much come of age. And I will explain some of the specifics of this in further videos, but right now I'm at zero for utilities. I don't pay anything for uh, my uh, electricity usage. I build up a bank with the uh, utility and it'll probably take me, well I got about 6,000 kilowatts in the bank so it's going to take me through the winter easily uh, where there's, uh, there's less comes out. I was kind of amazed. A simple uh, panels just put on a south-facing roof of a home or in my case also a shop building they're pretty massively effective and it's a grid tied system and I'll go over that in another video too because uh, I've done grid tied I've done off-grid so uh, I'm pretty positive in this stuff for a long time, I wasn't very positive on solar. I just, you know, it's just kind of a gimmicky thing. But it is, it does work. And in further videos in this series, I want to tell you how this stuff works. I'm not going to do a, a how to put panels on a roof. There's a million videos out there and from places that you, you buy the... Uh, the panels, they'll tell you how to put them on. And there's a number of different ways to, to get solar on your roof. And mostly it's a single family housing that I'm talking about. There are some other options for, for different housing. But for the most part, single family homes, there is no good reason at this point that you can't put enough panels on your roof, if it's positioned right uh, to accept solar, that you couldn't be pretty much uh, 
independent. I mean, you're never independent. It's a grid tied system, but you're actually using less power than you produce. This does happen. It is effective. So this is inter an introduction to some of the next ones. The, probably the next one I'll come up with is uh, uh, the grid tied system and what I think its values are and what its, uh, what its problems are. But uh, this is going to be, in the future, this is going to get more and more popular and it's going to be pretty much standard. In fact, a lot of houses are going to require it. Um, and if they don't, they probably should be. We've got some issues coming up with uh, climate change that are going to determine that we must modify the way we use energy. So, uh, I guess that'll be it on this one. Uh, gobs more coming as I get as I get to them.